Recently, these Lebanese demonstrators blocked the main road to Beirut's airport to protest the abysmal conditions inside their country. All the people are hungry and no one has anything to eat. No one can do anything. There's no electricity at home, children eat milk, and no one can afford to buy it. That's why we're here. Lebanon's worst crisis in decades includes no functioning government, a national currency freefall, and growing national debt. The world witnessed the catalyst for this disaster last August when this explosion rocked Beirut, sending shockwaves throughout the country. Now people must wait hours in line for fuel, and that's when it's available. Blackouts occur daily to save electricity, and many hospitals don't have enough medicine. Lebanon's caretaker prime minister is pleading for help from Middle East nations, the UN, and the international community. To help save the Lebanese from death and prevent the demise of Lebanon. Lebanon is a few days away from social explosion. The Lebanese are facing this dark fate alone. Lebanese expert Orna Mizrahi blames the situation on the combination of political turmoil, economic corruption, Hezbollah, and the COVID pandemic. She says the main problem, however, is a dysfunctional political class. We have a very rich elite of all sects that it's combined. There is a combination of money and political control in Lebanon, and they are doing nothing to help their own people. They are deteriorating day by day till the situation that we have now. Hezbollah, led by Hassan Nasrallah, is the strongest power in the country, given its dominant military. Nasrallah wants Lebanon to shun the West and turn solely to Iran for help. Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz recently offered to send humanitarian aid through the UN, although it's unlikely Lebanon will accept the offer. Israel and the region now face a worst-case scenario. That Lebanon will not fall in the hands of uh, Iran. The international community will do nothing. It will worsen. Mizrahi warns without help from the West, Lebanon could become like Syria, a state now under the influence of Iran. If Lebanon does fall to the Islamic Republic, it could change the complexion of the Middle East. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.